Yo, what's up guys? It's Penobi here bringing you the Pokemon Narrative Wi-Fi Battle. As you can see on the screen, got some announcements for you. Uh, first things first, congrats to Joey, PokeAimMD. He is my opponent in this match. It's a 4th gen NU, uh, good old classic Penobi material here. And um, yeah, it was a really awesome game. I would, And Joey's just an awesome battler. He's a great caliber guy. And uh, he recently became a director at Pokemon Pit. So, yeah, I just wanted to say grats. Uh, you can check out his channel below. Of course, there'll be a link. Um, I'd recommend, if you've never seen a video of his before, you stop by. He's a really talented player. And the second announcement is a Zat. I have made a Zat. Uh, I'll leave a link below. It's zat.com slash Nation. I just feel like it's going to be a great place for people to go if they want to get some 4th gen battles, or even 5th gen, any tier, really. I just know that people have expressed to me that they're finding it really difficult to get 4th gen NU games, and since I know a lot of my viewers do like 4th gen NU, I figure it made it makes sense for me to make a ZAT, and then some of them will hopefully go there, and if people will, enough people gravitate towards that ZAT, I think it can be really fun. It's going to be a really chill, relaxed atmosphere. No one's going to be looking over your shoulder. If you say a curse word, you're not going to get banned. Just be respectful, be appropriate, it's not a big deal. Uh, yeah, like I said, link below, link to my Facebook too, all that kind of stuff. Regardless, let's just, let's just go ahead and get into the match. Um, Joey's using a sand team, I'm using a sun team. Of course, he does not know that because there's no team preview. So, I leave my Rocky Star, he leads it with his Hippopotas. We're both going to set up the Stealth Rock first turn because there's not many spinners in NU. So, you always want to make sure you have rocks as a priority. Um, I'm going to go for the Sunny Day, predicting his Roar, and he does go for the Roar, which is awesome. Uh, there wasn't really much he could do to me in that situation anyway, so even if he switched out, Sun would still be a advantageous move for me to use on that turn. But he roars me into Captain Usopp, and I know he's going to switch, because I could potentially have the Energy Ball, so I'm going to go for the Swords Dance on his switch. And unfortunately, he has a physically defensive Cacturn. Now, I know that Cacturn is obviously uh, really common on Sand teams, because it does have the Sand Veil hacks, and it's one of the only like non-ground types with Sand Veil, I think, if not the only one. So, um, unfortunately, it kind of walls Shiftry. So, uh, yeah, he switches, predicting my switch, because he kind of walls me. But I actually opt to just go for the explosion, because Cacturn in Sand does not play games, and I really don't want to deal with it. Um, as you saw from my last battle I uploaded versus Mike. So, um, yeah, but he switched to Hippopotas, and I got rid of his Weather Inducer early, which is always nice. So he brings back in the Cacturn to set up Spikes, because um, Joey loves the entry hazards, and as we already covered, there's not really many uh, NU spinners, especially when he sees him running a Sunny Day team, he knows I probably don't have the Sand Slash. So I set up the Sun again, which is awesome, and now he switched to Politoed. I don't really know why he switched to Politoed, because I easily could have gone for the Explosion right there, um, but I didn't know if he had a Ghost type, so I didn't want to explode just yet. Um, also, in case he played Regirock on his team, uh, that or Cradley. Uh, it wouldn't be a very good move. So I double switched into Entei while he went to Politoed, or I switched into Entei while he double switched to Politoed, and I brought the wrong Entei to this battle. Um, it's the right Entei stat-wise, it's perfectly fine, but I meant for this to be a shiny nicknamed, Japanese nicknamed event Entei. I made this Entei a long time ago, before I realized that the event Entei's all had to be shiny, and all had to be nicknamed uh, with their original Japanese name. So, sorry, Joey, for using a, you know, not shiny Entei with the Flare Blitz and Extreme Speed. Although, most there's actually a lot of people do, that do this, even though they know that that's the incorrect way to save it. And so, Joey said that it wasn't a big deal. Like, it's not like he made any plays that he wouldn't have made otherwise. So, anyways, uh, he brings in this Scarf Mag Mortar. I assume it's going to be Scarf based on his team comp, so I just went for the Extreme Speed just to get him low enough. All I was really hoping was to get him low enough so that he couldn't survive rocks coming in again, or else that could be a bit of a problem, and luckily that's what happened. So I bring in my Hypno and go for the Wish to see what he wants to do. I know if he wants to attack me, then I can just Seismic Toss him for the kill and heal back to full. If he wants to switch, then I can most likely switch out to my Typhlosion, and that's what I'm going to do. I go to my Richter Typhlosion. It's going to take a lot from the entry hazards because, uh, yeah, Joey loves them rocks and them spikes. But thanks to the fact that his Cacturn doesn't have much offensive prowess to hit my uh, Typhlosion with, I figured it'd be a safe switch to pass the Wish off. And since I know I'm faster, um, I could have gone for the Eruption, but I also know that Cacturns carry Sucker Punch, so I went for the Flamethrower just because I didn't want him to Sucker Punch me and then have my Eruption do Jack Diddly Balls. Now, yes, I actually carry a, a really weird Typhlosion set. 
It's um like eruption, flamethrower, solar beam, and I think hidden power electric. It might be focus blast. Either way, um, yeah, it's really weird to have erup eruption with life orb because eruption does more damage based on how much HP you have. But for some reason, like this set just seems to really, really work for me. But I'm getting a little behind myself. I crit his uh, Gabite, which did matter in the sense that a an eruption. Uh, without the crit would not have killed him thanks to his resist even with his low defenses and all that stuff but um it didn't really matter in the long run because as you can see the battle's winding down this is a bit of a short match my regirock and my licky licky both of which we've previously seen both pack explosion and uh, the only pokes he has left are regigigas and uh, Magmortar, so I easily could have revenge killed that Gabite, which he said was Choice Banded, not Choice Scarfed, so that's pretty much where we stand there. But anyway, that was a great game, Joey. Um, yeah, I just wanted to upload this game versus him, just because it was convenient to be able to give him the appropriate grats he deserves for being a Pokemon Spirit Director and all that kind of stuff, and also, Joey and I are good buddies. We plan to actually battle in every single tier. We're going to have a battle in every single tier, so you can probably look forward to seeing more Joey action on my channel. And, um, yeah, feel free to come check out my Zat, come hang out. I'll probably post something on Facebook about it, too. Uh, I'd love to see you there. Maybe we can battle. I do get a lot of battle requests, and I feel like this is going to be a great way for me to interact with you guys. So thank you all for watching. Click that like button if you did happen to enjoy yourselves, and I'll catch you guys later. So peace out.